Hello class, this is Ms. Augustine, and today we're going to solve some Charles's Law problems. And this is the equation for Charles's Law, but sometimes it's easier to rearrange it as v1 t2 equals v2 t1. And I did that by cross multiplying. So now let's read our problem. At 60 degrees C, the gas has a volume of 600 milliliters. What is the volume of this gas at 10 degrees C? So the first thing we have to do is we have to remember that gas law problems need to be converted to Kelvin. So we have to add. So to get from C to Kelvin, we remember that our Kelvin temperature is degrees C plus 273. So I'm going to identify my variables. So at 60 degrees C, so my T1 is 60 plus 273, which is 333. A gas has a volume of 600 milliliters. What is the volume of this gas? at a temperature of 10 degrees C. So again, T2 is going to be 10 plus 273. And I apologize for the fact that the stylus makes noise, so I will try to write and talk separately. So I'm going to now plug things into the equation, but first I need to rearrange. So if up here, V1 T2 equals V2 T1, and we're solving for V2. What we would do is divide both sides by T1 and cross that out. And so you'll now see that V2 equals V1 T2 over T1. So now I'm going to plug the numbers in. Remembering that this one is T2, so we have to use this number, and then divide it by our T1. Now, Ms. Augustine's steps always read the problem, identify the variables, rearrange the equation, that's what I was doing here, plug the numbers in, that's what I'm doing here, cancel the units to make sure that you plug things in correctly. We're solving for volume, we're going to end up with milliliters. And when I plug this particular one into my calculator, I get um, hang on. plugging, plugging, plugging. You get 509.9099. And that would be volume milliliters. Now, looking at the problem, oopsies, looking at the problem, we see that we have three sig figs all the way along. So we're going to make this three sig figs, which would be that number right there. But the number immediately following it, it is a nine. So a five and above, we give it a shove. So that means that our V2 is 510 with a decimal place milliliters. Now, because I can, I'm going to change color pens to a crazy color, and we're going to reassess. So what happened? Our temperature went down. Oh, I like that pen. Our temperature went from 333 to 283, so temperature went down. So that means, in Charles's law, it's a direct relationship. If temperature went down, volume also had to go down. Our volume started at 600 milliliters and it went to 510 so volume went down so life is good oh i really like this pen okay sorry i'm going back to red okay now i'm going to scroll down to the next problem that i wanted to solve which i believe was something fantastic like number two so scrolling oopsies hang on all right so now 
going to question number two. So for this one, we're reading, we have 105 milliliters of oxygen at 25 degrees C, remembering we always have to convert from C to Kelvin. Um, then we're heated until its volume expanded to 120 mils. What would its final temperature in degrees C be? So this is tricky because it's going to have you convert back at the end. So identifying variables, V1 is 105. T1 is 25 degrees C plus 273 is 298 Kelvin. Expands to V2, which is equal to 120 mils. And our T2 is our question mark. So now what I'm going to do is to do to do to do. I'm going to plug in. So if V1 T2 equals V2 T1, we're solving for T2. So we're going to divide both sides by V1. So that means that T2 is equal to this V2 T1 divided by this V1. Plugging in numbers. So our V2 is 120 mils. Our T1 is 298. And our V1 is 100, no, 105. Canceling units. So now when I plug this into my calculator, see what I get. I get 120 times 298 divided by 105, I get 340.57. And then looking at my units, it looks like I've got three six zigs, so we're going to make that 341 Kelvin. Now, but they asked us for degrees C. So to get degrees C equals Kelvin minus 273, so that means 341 minus 273 gives me 68 degrees. Um, and we need three sig figs, so I'm going to make that 68.0 degrees C. Now, switching to my fancy rainbow pen, what happened here? our volume went down from 105 to i lied our volume went up hang on eraser okay our volume went from 105 to 120 so our volume went up so that means that our temperature had to go up and our temperature started at 25 and ended at 68. Life is good. Miss Augustine draws her happy face and we are done for now. Okay, so now we're going to solve some Gay-Lussac's law problems. And remember that Gay-Lussac's law is the relationship between pressure and temperature. So P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. And that can be rearranged. Oops, my hand made marks. Sorry. Eraser. <laughs> okay. So now we can rearrange that equation as P1T2 equals P2T1 for ease of use. So now reading this problem, if the gas is cooled from 323K to 273K, so T1 is 323, T2 is 273, and the volume is kept constant, and again for gay lussac volume is constant. What is the final, what final pressure would result if the original pressure was 202 kilopascals? So P1 is 202 kilopascals, and P2 is our question mark. So in this equation, we're solving for P2. So P2 
is going to be equal to P1 T2 divided by T1. So plugging in. times temperature 2 and then dividing by T1. So now we've identified our variables over here. We rearranged our equation. We've plugged our numbers into the equation. Now we need to cancel our units. So we're getting kilopascals, and when we plug this one into our calculator, it comes out to 0.2. So lots of numbers there. So again, looking at what we had, and this is going to be kilopascals. So again, looking at what we had in this problem, we had four sig figs, four sig figs, and three. So we're going to need to round to three sig figs, right? So three sig figs is going to end up there. So our P2 should be, so five and above, you give it a shove, so 171 kilopascals. Now we always do our check in our fun pen. And so remember that pressure and temperature are directly related. So what happened? Our temperature went from 323 to 273. So temperature went down. So that means that pressure should also have gone down. Our initial pressure was 202 and our final pressure is 171. Pressure did go down, so it was good. Now I'm going to scroll. Oops, wrong thing. Hang on. I have to pick this. Okay, scroll down and do a second problem. Let's see. Hang on. There. So the second problem is a sample of nitrogen inside a metal container at 20 degrees C is put in an oven whose temperature is 50 degrees C. The pressure inside the container at 20 degrees C, so initial pressure was 3 atm. What is the new pressure? after it's in the oven. So let's get our pen, and we're going to start by identifying variables. So T1 is going to be 20 plus uh, 273, so that's 293. Our T2 is 50 plus 273, which comes out to 323. Our initial pressure when it was at the lower temperature was 3 ATMs, and we're solving for P2. So first things first, if P1, T2 equals P2, T1, we're solving for P2, so we have to get that alone. So P2 is equal to this part, P1, T2, divided by T1 to get rid of T1. So now we're plugging in. So P1 times T2 divided by T1 now you identify the variables you get the parent equation, you rearrange the equation, you plug in the numbers. So now we cross out the units to make sure life is good. And we are going to plug this into our calculator. And we get 3.307167 ATMs. And looking at the problem, it looks like three sig figs, three sig figs, and three sig figs. So one, two, three sig figs, that ends there. Because there's a seven after it, we round up. So it's 3.31 ATMs.
Oopsie. Sorry. Didn't mean to move that around. Okay. So now we ask ourselves the usual question. What happened here? If we look at our temperatures, temperature went up. Oh, wait, I forgot to use my fun pen. Here we go. Our temperature went up. So our pressure also has to go up. Did our pressure go up? Our pressure started at 3 and it ended up at 3.31. Our pressure went up. So Ms. Augustine is drawing a smiley face to show you how crazy I am. Maybe I'll draw a flower too because I really love this pen. I know I'm crazy. This is Ms. Augustine signing off.